Hi, this is James from iGlobe, and I am going to show you how to use iPlanner Pro, an Outlook add-in for Microsoft and Teams tasks by Planner. Before doing this, make sure that the app is deployed and secured on your Microsoft 365 by a global Microsoft 365 administrator. A quick note on security and compliance. iPlanner Pro is a Microsoft certified app and is therefore safe to deploy on your Microsoft 365. Feel free to contact us if you want to learn more about the Microsoft Certified App Program. iPlanner Pro runs on all devices connected to a Microsoft 365 account. In this user guide, we will use the browser version of your Outlook Mail, but everything works the same on all other platforms, as well as on your desktop client. Are you ready? Let's get started. In this video, we will learn how to get started with iPlanner Pro. First, open Outlook. On your desktop client, both on Windows and Mac, you will see the iPlanner Pro icon in the ribbon automatically. However, from your webmail, you will have to click on the three dots to find iPlanner Pro. If you want it to be attached to the ribbon, you have to take a further step. Open the Outlook settings in the top left corner, scroll down, and click on View All Outlook Settings. Now choose Customize Actions. Tick iPlanner Pro and save. Once you close the window, it will be up and running. If you are using this app for the first time, you have to click through the Get Started buttons, and then you need to connect as a user. We will now learn how to find and pin iPlanner Pro in Outlook. Click on the iPlanner Pro icon. You can see that the app pops up. However, when you select another mail, it closes automatically. In order to keep iPlanner Pro open, you can pin iPlanner Pro in the top right corner. This way, you will always be able to quickly create a task on a selected mail when working in Outlook. Notice, iPlanner Pro will show your tasks from both Planner and Teams task by Planner. You can easily create a new task in both apps. Let me give you a small tip. Deleting a plan with tasks in it, even if they are completed, will give you problems. Make sure to start by deleting all the tasks in the plan first. After that, you can delete the plan. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out the other parts of the user guide. If you need further help, don't hesitate to contact us. Find more useful links in the description below and I will see you in other iGlobe videos. Bye!